Stellaris. Survive together. Welcome back, Extinction Rebels. The votes have been cast. And have you voted? You have voted more than ever before. So um, let's count the votes. We're starting, we're starting from lowest. So this time, surprisingly, the equality circle totally lost out. Led by Asteric Man Viktor Skobolev, it only got eight. Yeah, only eight votes. But okay, I mean, we're flying by that thing anyway. So not too interesting, I guess. The next one with 12 votes are the Survival Guardians and the Scientist Head Guardian Andrea Necke. Their ideas for conquest and so on probably buried under us being a scholarium right now. Then, then, then we have the Galactic Cooperation Council led by our leader, the revered elder, friendly Eldrin all under heaven. Yeah, we didn't make it to the fullest, but 22 votes come together. So um, we will not change much of that. Instead, the Scholars of Gaia and the scientist head of the Scholars Lyum have won again. And they want a psionic pursuit and homogeneity. Pious polity they already achieved, life organic and an embattled minority. Um, our sign... Our... Uh, Spiritualists are not anymore, which is why this is green now. So what else do the scholars of Gaia want? It it is in their agenda. So first they also want their naval the naval capacity to be around 40 and also the ships around 40 at least. It's still not much, but we need we want to expand that. That's not the first and foremost we want to do we want to hire a scientist from the curators if we can afford it then we want to research a lot of particles because that's what Liam does he was a scientist focused on or he is a scientist focused on the particle research so we will prefer particle research if it's good and we have sensei borkas here at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do not we do not only prefer under a scholarium the particle research, but uh, also all research that brings us more research, because that way we get quicker to the psionics stuff, right? Another research research focus is to make planets more habitable. So anything that brings us habitability, psionics will be good, but not not terraforming or removing blockers. We might research these technologies, so we know how it works, but we instead want to build ranger lodges on every planet that is possible. Ranger lodges are like the ecologically friendly, as you can see here, combination of amenity, society research, and also unity from naturally occurring blockers. Now you can see we have two blockers here, and these blockers give us um, mm, 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 I think six unity output because it's two blockers. You get three per blocker. Uh, so you get the, the quicksand basin and we get the nature reserve. Each of them produces three because of the ranger lodge. Planet limit is yeah one, so you can build a planet lot on every planet one of them we also want to build three more temples at least we have begun that here on alpha centauri there's a couple of more couple of more temples to be built and we'll see if we can uh, complete that we will also yeah, look to increase our energy income and maybe free some people from the slave market our expansion will be focused on planet grabbing and making a holy world maybe possible, or at least a resort world. So, slave market is unavailable yet because the galactic market hasn't been founded, but once it comes up, we want to be ready to free the slaves there. So that's everything we want to do. And as you can see here, there's more that we want to do. And that more is focused on expansion. 
maybe not pressing to the utmost, but at least to hear Ukrichi would be a nice, um, a nice settlement. On this side, we're, we're blocked already, but we might claim now the best that we can, right? So we have at least two blocked here from. Um, so if you have two systems in a row here, the AI won't jump over you and colonize here. So we, we're working on um, like filling, filling up the rest of the space. We might remove some opponents here or there. But we are in general focused now on settling the planets. We've sent Furbanites everywhere. Um, so there, there's tons of ships coming. Here, tons of colony ships that will make the groundwork happen. Maybe for a resort world, maybe even for a prison world where people can uh, find their spiritual peace again and join the scholars. So that's the idea of it all. We're also looking at the edicts and we'll see how we can survive as a scholarium. We, have, we've, we got a pretty good deal, not with Team Rocket, but with the Tartavanians. And we'll see if we can get... If we can get a leader from them. So what is good about the deal is this. They're giving us subsidies in advanced resources, like tons. Once we produce something, it will be multiplied by them, which is exceptionally good for us. Of course, we're all about that. So that's the situation we're in. We're looking to uh, fulfill your voting. We'll probably go for planets first. We're already, as you can see here, going to Edesik to build something here and to claim that Tundra world and so on as we're focused on settling the planets. So <laughs> let's have a look at our leader. Still going strong. Friendly Eldred all under heaven is 61 years old. He's got the Frontier Spirit, which decreases our colony ship build cost. Very useful at the moment. Colony development speed also goes up. Extremely good for now. Charismatic, so Edict's upkeep goes down. Edict's fund goes up. So we can have a look at our Edict's, and the Edict's are fine. So we're saving up a lot. Um, education and recycling campaign are a little bit expensive for now. But we're seeking to expand the Unity output and we're definitely seeking to expand our traditions and see where we can get to. Yeah, we want Sonix and we'll make sure to get it very soon. So making a first check, is everything okay in the realms? Look at that. Trappist mining. Mining would be nice. Uh, mining and research. Yeah, and you can see that research wouldn't be good at the moment. So we're going to be a little bit more for mining. Um, Alpha Centauri, yeah, um, we're building the temples. Mm, we're going for a little bit of a Lois here. What we don't have here is the Ranger Lodge. And we definitely want that here. Oh, oh no untouched nature remains on this planet. What? Are you kidding me? We have a quicksand basin and another quicksand basin. So apparently these don't count. So what will we do here? Mm. Gene clinics would be extremely tempting. Other than that, really, we don't know. We have this, we have this. Let's see what we produce here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to be produced. There's a lot open. Um, the only thing is that we need something to do for the dinosaurs here. And it's unclear what to do there. I mean, we could add a stronghold for now. At one point, we will probably help the dinosaurs get a little bit more complex in their thinking. Then we're in Sirius Prime. We got some food. Uh, food and energy, maybe. So... Yeah, we still want gene clinics, but... Mm. Now let's get into the energy departments here. 
Galamun, yeah, we want to defend here. Sturil Prime. A little bit unclear. I mean, this is bound to become some kind of industrial planet, right? So Sturil Prime definitely on, on the way to that. We have a quicksand base in here. We cannot build a ranger. Oh, we can build a ranger lodge. Yeah, then, we, then let's build a ranger lodge. Nice. Sturil Secundus. Mm, yeah, we need some housing here. Already got the little ranger lodge. Let's build more. And then we have some stations ready. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. We definitely need some serious economic development. And step by step, we'll go forward in that. See, that's already one of the Furbanite ships going out there. So many of us. What What is it going... What's going on in Gullamon? Who is there? Ah, look at that. We could we could get someone meticulous now, but I don't think there's room. I mean, we could make an experiment, right? So cho we chose you, Marcelo Ramirez. We'll set you an automatic survey. Maybe that will lead to some interesting results. We'll see. Definitely going forward. We're going to edit six right now. Complete. And hopefully we can claim that system very soon. We are spreading our faith to a new world. We got progress on the strange asteroid. A strange door. As the science ship approaches 9965811, a vast and time-worn door is revealed. Who would have built such a thing and why? Perhaps the answers are inside. Open the door! We are they always take so long to, to open that door. Ah, oh, look, in, in nine, in nine. We're getting there in nine. Now oh, that's good. It is good. Here yeah, we are digging. Digging, digging, digging. Oh, very soon, very soon. Come on now. Building that outpost. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Yeah, we'd also like um, some more expansion here. Former Elder Gale Bradbrook governing the Earth sector. Nice, got a level. And we get more pop growth speed from cloning. Now let's see what we could go for. Is there any psionics? No. Is there any habitable world stuff? Terraforming, maybe. Gene crops would be nice to have. Gene crops would really be nice to have. Starbase, we're not at the starbase capacity yet. Planetary capital is probably something really necessary, right? Food is also good though, but we don't need it at the moment. So let's go for that. Colonial centralization. Unlocking planetary capital and halls of judgment. Planetary capitals will be pretty important later on, or, or even right now, and also pretty practical, so that's the one of the things to go for. New wisdom. new wisdom research station output goes up, we learn more and more, and it's time to tap into, yeah, what, global energy management maybe? I mean, the mining drone lasers and the fusion power is pretty cool, but... Yeah, what will advance our society most is global energy management. So we're going to go for that. It's fine. Construction it's fine. complete. Oh, we got that. Build mining stations, build the observation post, and... We will send over someone to this Tundra world. In the Visari, maybe? Yeah, they have an Alpine preference. Let's not only send Furbanites, we want some diversity. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Spreading and spreading. 
Look, our naval capacity went up massively. That's really good to hear. Now we can get uh, maybe some more destroyers going. Yeah, let's let's order these. Here we go. Busted's upper Egypt. Oh, the the theocratic dictatorship, a migration treaty with the theocracy of Sama. Yeah, they're cordial, overwhelming, and everything. We should establish an embassy, maybe. Hello there. Hello there, cats. Just give them a sign. A storied vault, opening the vault in the strangest story, has raised more questions than it has answered. Contained within is an esoteric collection of items ranging from junk to what are possibly artifacts from a forgotten empire. Sorting through it all took some time, but we did find some useful items. Oh, Starhold technology! Really cool! Oh, what about Varna? Ah, oh, Vasily Tichy has. Uh, has got it all. Yeah, now you can go over to Bokshima and excavate there. Let's see how that will progress. Bastet, yeah. As long as we stand together, whoop, nothing can threaten the Bastet's Upper Egypt and the Extinction Rebels. Very friendly. And friendly all under heaven has got a level, too. Hmm, Archduchy. Can we, would they? No. <laughs> they have no benefit from from technological um, thing. So they won't go for that. Interesting. System Interesting. Let's see if we can maybe get a leader from them. How did that work? Maybe trade negotiation? Mm. Scholarium processors. Scholarium hypothesis. Mm. Pledge loyalty. But give them favors or loyalty or information. Let's see. Borrow the fleet. Nah. Transfer a system. Resources. Not so much. Okay. We were looking to hire some leaders from them. But I don't think that is currently possible here. Let's, let's look at the other... In the other diplomatic or diverse things, my goodness. Market, planet sectors, expansion planner, policies, edicts. Yeah, I don't think we can get a leader from them at the moment. Claims. Yeah. Do we have Tatavanians here? No. All right. Construction complete. What is it with a clerk here? Yeah, you need to go further here. I don't know. We'll just send friendly Shen around. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Gas extraction works. That's going to be very helpful. Living metal is going to be great, but we don't need that. Ah, oh, the Starhold help. Yes, yeah, Starholds will be really great as well. But what would help us more is probably mineral purification. Ah, no, not really. We don't need that at the moment. Alloy Mega Forges. Yeah, we don't need it yet. Let's go for Starhold. It's probably the best choice we can have. Do we have someone who could help us there? The authoritative Simon Bolin. Good, good, good. We'll go back to... Earth. And our good sun system. 
We'd want another science ship. Observation posts ready. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. What are you doing? The construction ship, why is it moving? Why are you moving, dear constructor? Okay, one of the next uh, constructions could be made here, but really we want to go to the planets, right? So that's really, really important. So we'll send you to Giagava. Planets, planets, planets. And you will send to Mesa, who died. Yuri Volkov died. Ah, I was an envoy. It's located around here. Mm, and we need to research something here in Nimeroth, apparently. Mm. Yeah, you should go here, survey that, and then come back to the sun system. And assist again. What have we found? Yeah, the Starhold. Wonderful. We can now build way better... Way better space stations. Oh, the Elgate Insights. Mmm, so good. So good. Do we have an Elgate? Do we have an Elgate ready? Where could be one? Maybe in the Great Wound system. But to my knowledge, we don't have an Elgate system. So we'll focus on other things first. It will help us uh, out financially. And there's only two things, either the synthetic crystal plants or this. This is uh, minerals. We'll go for that first. Um, so perfect Olivia is back in there and Simon Bolin is waiting for his new ship. Head pacifist back in the labs. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, we still got that. Hmm. It's still kind of bad. Uh, we've got a stronghold here. Let's build another stronghold. Maybe it's going to have something to do for the dinosaurs. System survey complete. We could go for a star hold here, right? Uh, that would make a lot of sense for us. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Good, good, good. So we're landing everywhere. It's going to be good. We're going to have tons of new colonies. Tons. Yeah, indeed, tons. Marcelo Ramirez. The faithful have claimed a new world. Magdalena Riagardia is also a crime fighter now. Ooh, she's good. She's good. We've established a new colony, Bokrima Prime. That's going to be a good one. Mm, what can we start here? Uh, yeah, but first we want a Ranger Lodge. That's our go-to building right now. It gives us amenities. It gives us some unity. It gives us some good jobs. We can just go for that. And on Vum Prime, we also want to start with a Ranger Lodge. Once we have more uh, consumer goods production, we'll also go for that. Storal Prime Sector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all getting in there. System survey complete. Good, good, good. I mean, we also want to go here, right? Because that's just a really good system. The rest of the systems is not that super great. But this system, uh, on the other hand, we shouldn't we shouldn't stray from our um, from our principles. Let's go to Tourace, build that, and build 
build a ship for there. Oh my goodness me, we need so many consumer goods. What happened here? Um, we'll try the recycling campaign as we a first change. Oh, the Senate has voted on and passed the resolution, the ready shield, and we got some influence for that because... <laughs> Because our overlord used our votes, apparently we get influence from that. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fine, I have to say. That's that's really something nice uh, for a change. So where are we going to send... Where are we going to send that? We'll not make a big fuss about it. Incoming transmission. Negotiate agreement. We expect these terms to be acceptable. What? Bulwark? We could decline that. They want us to be a bulwark. Uh, but we don't want that. We don't want to be a bulwark. My goodness, we are just a scholarium. So that will cost us. Ah, they can make a proposal. And that will cost them. And then we can make a counter proposal. That will cost us. <laughs> okay, we'll stay We'll stay a scholarium. Thank you. <laughs> will they hate us now? I, I expect it, but I don't know. No, they don't hate us. Did that have any change in our relations? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is have a new world. this is how it happened. Trappist. We've claimed Trappist. Trappist Prime. Yeah, it's it would be very important. I mean, this is a good colony for energy credits. So that could make that could make something happen. Maybe we'll just start out with the Ranger Lodge here as well. What we should go for is an industrial district. But this is so good for energy, so we want energy there. Hmm. Hard to tell. Habitability and happiness goes down from here. But really the energy stuff is so good here. Yeah, let's just go and build energy. And we will just need. Have a new world. We'll just need others for our industrial production, like this one. I mean, this has a basin, but we just we just need 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 industrial districts. So, oh, where was it? Consumer goods. Here we go. You go, consumer goods. Lion the second has gained a level. Nice. Learning a lot on that Tsaikovsky. Construction complete. To raise. Yeah. Got that as well. Now let's send someone over. Mm. Yeah, let's send the Sundar. I have an ocean preference. Quick learners, enduring. Because we don't do not only want Furbanites. We can also buy a couple of consumer goods again here and that should do it yeah, let's just build all of these stations here and we'll wait for something new to claim system survey complete pirates sighted into the trappist system ah they must be dealt with Trappist again. They're here now. Oh, gods. Oh, so not at all great. Leave, leave. At least we have Aegis Aquarius here. GHDF, whatever it too is ready. Evading heretics. 
Why are you evading that side? You go here. For the love of God, you go into this. Ah. <laughs> Fleeing like chickens. Okay. So, where... Where to go next? Do we have someone here for overprinter? I don't think we have. Okay. Um, so you're probably the one who should go to overprinter, right? Yeah, we'll send you over there. It's fine. Something's happened. Dig it like you mean it. An extensive analysis of hundreds of canals on that trench world surface has been carried out. It's evident that the intricate canal grid is not formed by any naturally occurring ge geological process. It has been dug out with deliberate intent. Due to the considerable age of the trenches, having been carved out more than a hundred thousand years prior, and as such considerably eroded, it is difficult to ascertain how or why they were made. Keep digging. No, we've got this, we've got this. We gotta really start getting some mm, stuff everywhere. And by stuff name, Barnard Star, what the heck is that? Scholarium, yeah. By stuff I mean um, we need to build defense stations, complete. like a lot of defense stations. That would be good. The temples stand ready. Need a research station, nice. Yeah, and why not? We should we should do that in in all the systems, and we would concentrate on Earth and surroundings, and especially inhabited planets, right? For that, we should review our defense platforms. So, basic defense platform. What could we go for now? Blue laser is still the main thing. Deflector is still good. Karamo metal armor is better now. And we could get reactor boosters from here. Whatever, let's just have them. This is still the same. This has improved. Good. So these are the stations, and let's just build one of them here, or even two. No, the Fallen Legion has attacked us. But we're coming for them. We're coming the for them. Have claimed a new world. JHDF whatever has claimed them. The Aegis Aquarius has destroyed a pirate station. Nice. Plonk. Established the colony Bokrimar Prime in the Bokrimar system. And that could also become uh, a good consumer goods planet. I will start it out with that un until we have like everything under control we'll just have to focus there's a time project now it's a debris in tra uh, trappist that's nice you're joining aegis aquarius so aegis aquarius is growing too and that is wonderful for us good 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 so one of our goals is now also the increasing alloy production massively wisdom. and building a lot of defense stations global energy management nice um, so we can get more energy. Now, let's see what else we can improve. Energy credits from technicians would be great. Research complexes, it's too early for them. Anything that leads to psionics? Yeah, I mean, the archaeology lab? Maybe, yeah. Uh, we'll just go for quantum energy states. That's probably the, the best at the moment. Bokrimar system. Now let's look at Earth. Earth needs a dinosaur to do something, but what? Let's build another industrial district. It's probably the best. It's what we need right now. It's just what we need. 
System survey complete. Hmm. We were unable to build research stations here. Okay. And mining station. Why? Why? Are someone else is building there or what? Ah, oh, that's the automatic construction that's ready. Okay. All right. All right. Yep, yep, yep. We're getting forward, step by step. Adaptability. Um, survival of the fittest. Uh, orbital bombardment and defense army damage increased. Yeah, reduced. Um, first go for appropriation resettlement cost reduced. I mean, we don't really need it, but whatever. The other thing we also don't need, so... Step by step forward through the adaptability tree. The XR Rubicon needs to go to Beta Achille. Oh no, to Giagava, because it's just better. We are spreading our faith to a new world. System survey complete. Head Guardian, Andrea Neki leveled up. Nice. The faithful have claimed a new world. Claimed another new world in the Trappist system. Trappist Secundus. Uh. We'll probably start standard development. We'll start with the Ranger Lodge. Construction complete. Um, in Trappist, we have the Exa Grissom. Liam, uh, the Ayo got no orders. Okay. Research that project, and we have no one in here. The authoritative Simon Bolin needs to go on some adventures, but where to? Where to? Do we have maybe a dig site? Yeah, why not go to Sturil to the dig site? There's some people assisting research here, but hey. Uh, on the other hand... Yeah, why not? Why not? Simon Bolin is very experienced. He will be good at the dig site. Yukon here. Mm. So we have no, oh, no orders with the Yukon. We'll, we'll move here. So where's our ship? It's moving to Giagava. We want to claim that. And then Uldo. That is... Note that down. It's the... Um, it's a rubricator system. So we don't want to... We don't want to have that uh, quickly um, dug out because we first need a fleet. We first need a fleet because there may be something dangerous hidden in there. Galamon Station has been expanded on and what we want there is... Yeah, we would really like to add trade here. As weird as that sounds, but... We need to connect our outer rim here. You can see it's all unconnected and we want to change that. And so we'll also go for a nebula refinery because it just produces nice things. And who doesn't want to have nice things? We've already improved um, our alloy production a bit, so we will continue to do that. Abandoned terraforming equipment. Since our initial settlement of Vum Prime, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models. For a world of this type, our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be like, however. Who could have built this? And we can now decide. We'll dismantle. We'll resume the process. Hmm. Dismantle the equipment. 
I mean, the thing is... We could maybe dismantle that thing, but... Um, yeah... We have a lot of dense jungle and so on. We should probably try to resume the process to heal the planet, maybe. Maybe that is something. Because there's a highly unstable climate system and biosphere. And that needs to be fixed. We could learn something for it, or we could try to heal the planet. And we'll, we're trying to heal the planet, resume the process. Offensive packs, yeah, 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 yeah. Mining station in Litugina. We've learned something from Trappist. Cool. Water cannons, afterburners, fusion powers, physics research. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Mm, Lorenzo Aguera needs new orders. How about you go back to your home in Trappist? <laughs> And help out there. Faithful have claimed a new world. Edasic Prime has been claimed. Very nice in the Edasic system. That's next to um, next to the natives. So here is also a good industrial world. So try to get that going. Of course, among the the ranger stations too. Just step by step by step, we're we're doing what we can. Where have we now built uh, the next step? Building here in yeah, we're building in Giagava. Construction complete. Build the stations and then move over here. Vasily Tichy has died, no! Ah, he was such a good one. He was just always there. Let's see. Computer, particles, rockets. We have rockets, we have computers. And we have particles, but particles is gonna be... Yeah, I mean, Lyme is 90. Let's hire Oksana Sirova. And she can continue excavating the site here in Bokrimar. See what we can find out. Yeah, we want to continue our um, stuff here in Sirius with the next defense platform. That will be kind of strong then just to protect us from pirates. System survey complete. Resource system for the survey, nice. Moving through everywhere. Has the mining drone expansion initiative? What do you want drones? <laughs> Are they going now to, to Mesa or to another system yet? We'll see what what will go forward here. There's a rebel human unemployed here. Mm. We need to do something then. But what? Uh, I mean, we want food here. So let's develop more food. It's fine. Yeah, let's check also. While we're at it, uh, we could build a new mining district here. Uh, here we need nothing, nothing. Mm. Yeah, the ranger job. That is not a specialist job. That's very cool. Uh, we'll build. We'll need housing here, so let's build a city district. And here, don't need anything. Here's okay. Here it's okay. Mm. We'll maybe add a district to have more room here. Sturil. Mm. It's another ranger job available there, so it's good. Factory world? I'm not sure about that being a factory world, but hey. Mm. 
Storal Secundus. We need something there. What though? Mm, clearly, I mean, this is a thing cut out for energy and for industry. So we'll go just go for more industry. Hey. There we go. Consumer goods, consumer goods. That's the main thing. Then we can also one day maybe improve living standards, right? Mm, what we also should do is build a couple more temples. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Bokrima. It's just a, a very mixed planet here. Bokrima Prime is a, is a strange planet somehow. Mm. Bokrimar, I mean, we definitely want, uh, that is size 18, that is size 15. Bokrimar needs a new sector. And who could rule that sector? Adaptable, eager, agrarian. Now let's go for Mkadizi Kwaye, the adaptable in the Bokremon sector. Bokremon Prime, yeah, yeah, we should be okay here. It just gives a lot. Um, let's have a look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's big amounts, actually, of... Um, big, big, big amounts of unity for the rangers. That's just really nice. And here, too. Sirgava also needs someone. Let's create a new sector there. And someone new as well. The Furbanite here, a unifier. Why not? That sounds kind of good. Nintrex, the Furbanite unifier. Uh, that could be something like that, could be a thing here. So, that could also be meant for unity, right? So, we could build the temples here, maybe. But only after the Ranger Lodge, because the Ranger Lodge is just so useful. Let's build these two. System survey complete. Giagava is ready. Nice. We're going to the next system of Uldor, and there we'll also get a new planet. We'll see how that works out for us. An the alien can go back. Oh. The of the Look at that! We found the divine Asante Enclave, a theocratic oligarchy. Chief, presenter Gowen Crixton and the rest of the religious council bids you greetings. We provide spiritual guidance to the divine Asante Conclave. And our stated goal is to lead this great nation on a path to salvation. Do not cross this path and we may live in friendship. Our citizens send their regards, Asante. Where are the Asante cooperative research channels? Yeah, that's nice. We, uh, we cannot do that anymore. Okay, where are the Asante? Let's have a look at these Asante. A theocratic oligarchy. Spiritual seekers. They are friends with the polyglot democratic sons. And... Uh, yeah, here they are. They are thrifty. They're just thrifty. Nothing else. And fanatic spiritualists. And pacifists. And also necroids. Cooperative, too. So we'll see what, what becomes of that. Uh... Ah, and we also, of course, we got influence. So let's build another outpost here in Uldor. 
War declaration of the Brasherians versus the Torco Zone. The Bandit Kingdom of the Torco Zone. Let's have a look at them. They are necrophages, intelligent rapid breeders, natural engineers, fleeting and unruly. And let's have a look at the Bracherians. They're cordial with us. The Bracherians were always a selfish and greedy species until the Great Famine arrived. And after those long dark times, the people of Krenoshia had changed. Humans call it a famine culture, much more collectivist and selfless. Like those simple crab-like creatures work together to survive, building, to survive, building great communal farms in order to feed their people. And soon, with this change of culture, society changed as well, becoming much more democratic and ruled by the people, not by the strongest or wealthiest, only commanded by those willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the Bracherian keep people and their home world of Krenosia. So they are very. Yeah, they, they have shared their burdens. We'll see how much they can share. Who attacked whom here? The Bracherian Krabbies want to free the people from the Toko Zone. Them being fanatic authoritarian militarists. But pathetic. Pathetic. Truly pathetic. further in here ah and we have the first consumer goods coming in it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's a great great advancement that we'll have there the faithful have claimed a new world and now the gel raiders want to plunder us uh please no we'll give you some minerals a pity i suppose our warriors will have to look elsewhere for entertainment then your people are safe for the moment at least yeah, we don't have the troops for that, the fleets. Uh, Overprinda Prime has been founded. Very nice. Um, let's start for now with a Ranger Lord or with... I mean, we can start with this with Gene Clinics, which will help us out too. But the Ranger Lord is just much more spiritual. Hmm. It also leaves rooms open for the dinosaurs. Nevertheless, we also want the gene clinics. And so we'll go for that. And then we need housing. So that's the complete start on of a Prinder Prime. Starbase in Uldor here is also ready. Let's build the mining stations and we're ready to send our people there. The rebel humans. New election is coming, not for you, but for the leading representative, the revered elder. In the lead is head guardian Andrea Necki, now 82 years old. In second place is friendly Eldrin all under heaven, then the scholars of Gaia with the head of the scholars Liam are in third place, and the equality circle with Asterid man Victor Skobolev are in. Uh, the last place for now, and the fourth place, and we'll see who makes the race. It'll be pretty interesting. Aegis Aquarius fleet has been fully repaired. We're at forty now, and we should we should grow even more. But first, I said we want some more. Mm protection for our people like defense platforms and we will yeah we'll save a little bit up so special we can surround complete. earth and other planets with that special project completed the aborted terraforming process on Vum prime has finally been completed after seeding the atmosphere with billions of terraforming nanites oh the alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the planet's surface. The ecosystem and climate have thankfully both stabilized and a new alien biota adapted to this climate has been introduced. Let us see what we ended up with. An ocean world, but a fully functioning one. So we can be happy that we made this possible. Great work great work and good luck 
we had there. Wonderful. Oh, and there's more. There is more. Greetings, rebel humans. As you no doubt know, we Sagittarii are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We want to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. What? No, our people are not for sale, Sagittarii. No, that cannot. No, we cannot just give people away to some oh, strange aliens. Okay, trench. The trench war. More findings from the excavation sites on Bokrima Seven have come in, and with them a new theory for the origins of the trench network. Millennia ago, the plant was beset by an invading extraterrestrial organism, best described as a huge snail-like creature the size of a city. It roamed with impunity, scoring the surface clean of all organic matter it touched. The trenches were dug out by the indigenous population of diminutive, mustelid-like humanoids in order to either escape the snail's onslaught or to try to attack its vulnerable underbelly. By the extent of the excavation, this trench war must have gone on for generations, perhaps centuries. There are no indications the local population survived the crisis, nor are there any remains of the behemoth that devoured them. A grim fate indeed. Remarkable. Get combat training. And modern trench war modifier. Giving us 20% more health for defense armies. Wow! In, indeed. Remarkable. And where will, where will we send Oksana now? Is there another site to excavate? I've already sent someone to Sturil. I mean, there's no one at the moment, I think. You'll just assist research here if there's anything researchy to be made for now. Oksana. Still, we want to know who will become our elder. Oh, look, friendly elder in all under heaven is in the lead suddenly. Something situation log updated. Head of the scholars Liam, though, this time has been elected as a revered elder of the Extinction Rebels. So, we have full rulership now. Hmm. The electorate has given the faction of the scholars full control, and we even have the head of the scholars Liam as the revered elder of the Extinction Rebels, even though he's extremely old. He's charismatic and warlike. Who would have thought of that? 5% more ship weapons damage and army damage. Interesting, interesting. What? Uh, he wants to go for food growth. Yeah, we can fulfill that. Plus 15 food per month is something good. Uh, we've discovered a site here under the ice. Are here in the middle of nowhere land. Interesting enough. Well, um, what are you mining drones doing here? Are you building something? Yes. I want to fly away from this place. Ah, there's the mining drone now. <laughs> <sighs> uh, they put everything together here. We'll see what we can do to to alleviate that. System survey complete. Platori system. Mm, yeah, let's have a look at our science ships. Platori system. Here you go. I knew it. I knew it. The Ordon caretakers. Whatever that is. Uh, yeah, you just go automatic surveying. What? Flying this way? Okay. I mean, Shandale, do what you want. Uh, the Grissom. Where are we? We're here. Here's the Grissom. Okay. Ah, that was Liam's ship. Of, of course, it was Liam's ship. Hmm. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Jason Edwards. You just need to help out a bit. Archaeological site discovered. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. So when the thing is, we want to build here, right? Don't really know about the mining things that are... Are they building? They're building a station here. Expansion barge. I think we should just quickly fly away from here. For now, I think that's the best choice. Uh, we will make an alternate expansion into some... Into that place, probably. That's the best. We'll expand here. And then we need our ships and we need to construction kind complete. of roam free here. Galamon Starbase has finished its construction queue. Nice. So we've expanded. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, alloy production is going up. Consumer goods production is going up. Pretty happy about all the developments. Complete. Mining stations ready here. Fantastic. These systems too are super nice. The mysterious moon of Edesic Prime. Now that Edesic Prime has been settled for a while, some data irregularities have been noticed. Specifically, the moon Edesic 4A does not seem to be made of remotely similar material to Edesic Prime. This suggests it was not formed at the same time, but rather originally formed elsewhere and somehow was captured by the gravity of Edesic Prime at a later date. Quite where Edesic 4A came from is currently a mystery. Curious. Situation log updated. We can research it. Let's research it. Let's find out the mystery Swiss Colas after all. Yukon completed a star base here. Nice. Okay. We got that. Let's claim all the stations. gotta be good it's gotta be good yeah I think they'll be building something here <laughs> I think we have to we have to get there Aegis Aquarius you should go over there and we should also expand Aegis Aquarius a bit with a basic destroyer class until like 50 yeah that's good and we need to update before we do that to the basic destroyers. They are here, here, here. Uh, we'll get a reactor booster going. This, 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 this. Uh, picket. Chance to hit. Let's go chance to hit. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Aegis Aquarius will get another ship going. What's it here? Yeah, we cannot really do anything, I think. We're limited. Everett 2 has... Got the level. spirits have granted us new wisdom. Yeah, we need to fly over here, clear out the mining corpse here, and probably this expansion fleet as well. We get more energy credits from quantum energy states. Um, next things. What would be important for our long-term development? And the answer is either the curator, ex uh, curator exploration lab or the quantum field manipulation. We'll go for that first, because we have a curator want to go for the curator tech. So in case we discover something, we can uh, survey it before anyone else. Unity is going up. Pretty happy with the development. Mm, Non-aggression pack with the Star Force. Yeah, I mean, Team Rocket has so many dots here. It's weird nice so consumer 
Construction are ready. complete. Rio Grande completed a mining station. Cool. Yeah, finally, we're getting these exotic gases gone. Don't, don't, don't. An alien empire uh -huh. now speaks to we found, us oh, we've established communications with the next heralds of death. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Quake in fear, aliens come. For your doom approaches, the next heralds of death will cleanse this galaxy of every misbegotten Xeno civilization that pollutes it with their presence. Earth shall burn. Uh, we greet you as equals and friends, star travelers, because we have no power. Um... Okay, they seem to be sizable from the sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of good. What about the Berg's click? The Bandit Kingdom here? Mm. The Berg's are also a problem. The Dralayan dominance? Yeah. And they are the Bracherian Krabbies. They have bonded with the Polyglots. And the Reliant Dominance, okay. Polyglot Democratics, Democratic Sons. Yeah, they are pretty nice parrots, I'd say. Very friendly, very friendly. Started on a Shattered Ring World. Oh my, oh my. Look at the mass of consumer goods we currently have. So the next steps will definitely be expand the temples and expand the research stations. Look, we got more influence too. We are spreading our faith to a new world. And we should go for that quickly by reaching for Nimeroth. Special Nimeroth. project complete. The Aegis Aquarius will go here. Rogue Moonbase. The mysteries of Edesic 4A have been revealed. A detailed survey revealed that the moon is slightly top lopsided, with the far side of the moon having a disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that Edesic 4A once orbited another planet, which was destroyed in a cataclysmic explosion. The extra thickness on the far side of Edesic 4A is because that was the side which faced its original planet. The extra material is part of the mass of that planet which was blown into Edesic 4A, knocking it out of orbit and sending it eventually into the orbit of Edesic Prime. We speculate that the planet was destroyed by a weapon, or perhaps just an attempt to create a power source based on dark matter, as there are high concentrations of it in the planetary material coating the far side of the moon. And we've learned about dark matter drawing! <coughs> and we get dark matter from that freaking moon! What the heck? That's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let's go over there. And we'll build a stop. Uh, we'll build an outpost here. Complete. Mining station in Lihua. It's ready. Nice. Um, can we get more fleets to the Aegis? Yes. And we have ordered complete. the construction here already, so... Mandate unfulfilled? Oh no, what? Revit Elder's reign has come to an end with the election campaign promises unfulfilled? Why? We had more than that food. Oh god, Liam has died, no! Oh, everyone will miss him. And who's gonna be the next one? Who's gonna be the next one? Who is leading? Who is leading now? The Scholars. Will that be the, the Great Scholar Crisis? Who is leading the Scholars? The Scholars of Gaia have no leader. 
But now they have. Scientist Clémence Gagnon. Also claimable now. They still want sonic pursuit and homogeneity. She's um, a lab living genius and pretty motivated. Here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. So we need a new revered elder. A lot of things are coming towards us. We have. Uh, we're starting to expand again. Next expansion is to Nimiroth. It's a small tropical world. Very interesting one, probably. Being so small with toxic kelp and a bubbling swamp. And that's where we'll develop too. And then next, maybe to the primitives. There's a lot to claim still, a lot to explore, a lot to catch up. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon. And have a great time until then. May we survive together, dear friends and deep thinkers.